really want to end on this note because you know throughout the years I've had conversations with some some uh, some individuals who've done some incredible things, uh, climbing uh, Mount Everest as a Type One, literally rowing across the Atlantic Ocean. People who've run, you know, the Marathon de Sable, the Arctic Challenge, all these amazing things. But you did something pretty incredible, and this is how you got on my radar. Uh, you did a hundred mile ruck. Uh, not too long ago, but it, it was purely for a, a um, it was for an, an unselfish reason. It seems like you were trying to raise awareness around something that we just talked about for the past hour. So maybe you can kind of dive into a little bit about the ruck. And I want to, I have a couple of specific questions I want to talk to you about, but why'd you do it? Yeah. Uh, so I found, so it's the health and human performance foundation was the nonprofit organization we were running, uh, raising money for and just raising awareness around the breath. So like we, we talked about, you know, it, it's just not on anyone's radar. There's no endocrinologist prescribing breathing. And so I, I became associated with HHPF. I saw actually, I think it was a post Brian McKenzie put about, uh, you know, he started this foundation and, and actually got started with a woman asking him a question about, well, could breathing help with diabetes? And so I was like, oh, that's interesting. That That's how the whole thing kind of got going. And I found her name and then I sent her a cold email like, hey, you know, I have this website where I just post all these journal reviews. If they're of use to you guys, please use them. I, you know, I want to get this message out. That was kind of it. She, we set up a phone chat and then we become really good friends. And, and I try to help out as much as I can with the organization. And so when I got to meet them and they're living, you know, they're they're embodying their message. They're not just trying to, you know, they're actually doing the things they, they're talking about. And they, so they have a lot of studies with chronic disease, with first responders, like firefighters, police officers, trying to increase resiliency, increase uh, or decrease stress and anxiety associated with these high, these high stress jobs. And so I was just truly impacted by their mission and that they're living what they're talking about. So just, you know, a lot of times I, I was just trying to find a way to get this message out. I'm not a good marketer. I'm not a good anything. <laughs> so, but I, I do, I do like physical exercise and my brother and I would do these rucks. Uh, we had done a few or two different 50 mile rucks um, for this, this race in, in Jacksonville beach, Florida. And so it just, I kind of said, you know, I, I want to do a hundred. It's just kind of that romantic distance, a hundred miles. And, but I didn't want to do it for no reason. And I was like, what better way to combine everything I've been talking about than to, to prove it, you know, like I, I like, you know, I talk about, oh, we're diabetics, we can do anything, especially with the breath helping, you know, it's so beneficial, but I wanted to just kind of prove that, that I'm not just blowing smoke, I guess, I don't know what the, what the right word is, but I, um, so we set up this idea of, I would do a hundred mile and, and wear the ruck as kind of a symbol of the extra burden that we carry as those with chronic disease, for me specifically type one diabetics, but really anyone. And so it really, uh, was was based on that of let's use the the rock as a symbol and let's try to raise awareness around the breath and at the same time raise money for a great organization who's doing the same thing that's awesome that's beautiful man congratulations on that. <laughs> Thanks, 100 miles yes it, it's this romantic number but it's not romantic when you're in the middle of it no it sucked <laughs> <laughs> how did how did you feel after you finished it was yeah when i finished it was awesome i mean it was like the weirdest feeling of simultaneous joy like kind of sadness, like complete, just like crying and happy observer. So it was kind of this elation of every emotion you can experience all at once. Uh, and yeah, so it was awesome. 